Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So we're going to jump straight into a mission today. We've got the mechs fixed. Our main lance is back and ready to go. So going to the command center here, we're going to go straight into Untouchable today. I think we're going to try the target acquisition. Um, we've got the land mech. I think we should be okay. We're going to go full salvage. We're going to attempt to bulldoze these guys. Uh, take as much salvage from them as we can. So let's pull our, our second lance and bring in our main lance here the Black Knight in there and then where are we here Hopper uh, Arachne Hotshot and Queen Bee let's do this Command interface initiated. all right here we go um, are we starting oh this is a different I don't think I've played on this map before Okay, uh, so we need two turns per hex. Going to vapor, just get to you, people. Block. Okay, where are we going? LZ is back here. Okay, right here. Some might call this pretty. Some. And some might not. Uh, Orders. Let's get you. Let's get the layout of this first. So this is up a hill slightly. That's just kind of behind the base. I don't think I've done one on this before, on this map. I was hoping the Lowlands one was. I we played on another map where it's kind of relatively easy. You just kind of steamroll through. Uh, this one, I don't know. This spot might be a bit tricky. Um, okay, let's get her up a bit. On the move. Uh, Hopper, the same thing. Copy that. And the Black Knight, the... Oh, we got a guy right here. Hunchback. The, let's make sure we're in the trees still. Location confirmed. And we've got a whole team of guys down here. So what do we got? A wasp, a blackjack, urban mech, and a chameleon. So not so bad. Uh, okay, Queen Bee, you've got a big job in this one. Um, let's get back here. Confirm. Okay, here we go. Um, guy hasn't moved yet. Uh, it's going to be tough. Um, let's reserve. I want to let them shoot first. Okay, we got a locust over here. What's this guy? Urban mech. Okay, we're not, it's not so bad. Um, what do we got here? Owens. Okay. Um, Snub nose is 46. If we connect, though, the guy's toasted. Uh, oh, come on. Get uh, up e e here. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, we hit him. See ya. One more for the kill board. Christ, that snub nose goss, man. Jesus. It's so scary. I don't even think we hit his torso. I think we hit his leg or something. And it panned right through to the torso. I've got your back. So there's good salvage on this mission. I'm really looking forward to getting something good out of these guys. I want the Owens. The Owens has got, got so, lots of good electronics. Roger. really low chance to hit even with Artemis oh shoot you know what because they're still yeah. wasp is 17 we got 10 turns so it's like do we just shoot the Owens
Uh, let's try and get the wasp. We might get enough damage on him. You never know. Damn you for making it. Okay, one of the lasers hit. Alright, we penned, but... Punch right through his armor. Yeah, this is the CT. It's useless, pretty much. I have no idea. Two of them go on 15. My guess it's the wasp, probably, in the Owens. But we'll see. Uh, depending on what moves... Oh, it was the Owens, anyway. Yeah, don't blame you, buddy. Don't blame you. That R60 um, urban mech back there, though, has got me worried. we got to jump over there. It's not so much the first turn jumping in. Yeah, thanks for showing up. It's the second turn. That was the wasp, wasn't it? Yeah. That's what I thought. Commander. The first turn's not so bad. It's the second, third, and ter following turns after that. Just out of range, damn it. I don't think we can... We can't make that one, can we, now? Um, let's just go for it. Incoming hostiles, eh? Wow, we've already encountered them, man. Uh, barrages, we're going to use the barrage. And we might as well use the countermeasures on him. Uh, he's got the he's got an AC-10, so it's not so bad. Still bad enough, though. Alright, Arachne. Um... Get into here. We may go after that Irby. I don't know. Let's just see here. What do we got for chances? Chameleon's pretty darn good. That's not bad. He's got a lot of lasers too, so maybe it's that guy. Although this guy is... This guy's our target, I think. Here it comes. Let's just shred this guy. Yeah, lots of armor stripped, too. Yeah, we're hurrying. Hurry up. You're gonna have to hurry up, you think? Harasser. Couple of vehicles, okay. We keep our good chances on this guy and hammer him again. Or... Owen, Owen's as stealthy as fuck. R63. This guy is pretty darn low. The Wasp might be a kill. Does it matter though? We're not going to hit those guys. So let's go after the Blackjack again. He's already been damaged. Firing. See ya. Mech destroyed. Okay. Early kills are good. Oh, do we only have to stay there for one turn? Well, shit. I thought it was going to be two turns per area. Damn. They're in a lot of trouble. That looks pretty darn good on this guy. That's a shred for sure. LB10X. It's on the other side, so it would probably be saved. No. No. Chameleon. Chameleon. 
Now, let's go out to this guy. Take that as a well, he's going down. Let's get the Black Knight on the Chameleon. She's got this. We don't need to worry about this. She's got it. They're not gonna. They're not gonna hit her. There's no damn. Not if, if she had to stay there. If she had to stay there for an extra turn, that was what I was afraid of. Affirmative. That that extra turn with no evasion would be just a devastating thing for her, especially with all those vehicles. Look at the snub nose. We got so much added into that. Uh, we drop. Let's drop some acid on this guy. Hey, <laughs> it's drop some acid. Uh, we'll put that first and fire. Okay, we missed the goss. No biggie. Awaiting orders. All right, B. Can you uh, get this one now, please and thank you. Lifting off. Yeah, we'll go ahead and vigilance. And you might as well just brace. No point in doing anything else. That guy's going to take the barrage in a second. So I think we got dropped in like the right area. I think we're supposed to start off down the road, I think, maybe. I think that explosive pod missed. I could be wrong, though. Looks like it did. Chandra, advanced scout vehicle. Yeah, not a bad loadout. ECM jamming. Hello, Chandra. God, when she gets Phantom Mech. Good luck hitting. That's why I want to try a one-on-one -on -one battle with her against something that's bigger. Yeah, I tried with the LBX. Okay. Got five rounds left. Um, you don't need to go anywhere. Just sit right here. Um, switch to standard for these two. And we'll use up the rest of this on this guy. Plenty. Should give us the LBX. Should give us the LBX. Let's not give anybody our backside. Okay. Hopper. Talk to me. Looks like this guy's our next candidate here. Firing. Come on, leg hit. Yeah, there's no point. I mean, we could move, but there's really no point. These guys can't do too much damage. And I want to have the best chance to hit on them. Inflict the maximum amount of damage in the most mi minimal amount of time. We're close to our escape point, so I'm not worried. And we've got this last... last uh, Beacon set real quick here, so we can back up. I think we gotta record it being destroyed or something, and then get out of here. Okay, you're a little slower, so let's just move over here. Heading out. God, this thing's a tank. Um. Sure. Keeps cranking our heat up, but... Um, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, the big one hit. Took his leg off, I think. I think that knocked him down. Solid connection on that. Looks like a mini Zeus. Have a seat, buddy.
You get a timeout, and you get a timeout. That'll be nice if we can take that other leg off. So, they got more vehicles coming out. I think it's like four every turn. Or maybe not. Maybe it's every two turns. I don't know, but I know they get a fair number of vehicles. So they got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's the three mechs and right. Cover your eyes, folks. Okay, where do we need to be now? Back here. Impact in two rounds. All right. Yes, Commander. Just keep backing up. Affirmative. Let's cluster. Try and get the leg shot on this guy. He's gonna die no matter what we do to him. But um, how much do you have left here? Not that much. Let's not hit him with everything. Let's just go with the two fifteens. Yeah, I don't know what we got. One left target. Whatever we got, he's dead. She's got three kills now. We should be okay. We'll just back it up. So I've been reading on that, uh, the repost mission. I can't, I'm kind of worried about that one. Because they're, the enemies are, apparently have skilled pilots and advanced mechs at three and a half skulls, or two and a half skulls. So it could be very, very dangerous for us. So I'm, I'm considering not doing that one. Plus I've been thinking too, it's kind of out of character for us. Not that I'm like chickening out. I'll certainly do it if I... You know, if you guys, you know, insist me t taking missions like that, I can go ahead and do it. But a critical hit. it is kind of out of character for these guys. These guys are supposed to be pirates, so taking missions for the compellents like that is probably not the right thing to do. So I'm probably going to pass on that one for next episode. Let me know what, down in the comments what, what you think, if we should be taking missions like that or we just leave them. Because I really don't, I mean... I, I don't know if you just want to see action or what, right? Because I can certainly just do action. Um, let's move. We're not overheating. Why are we so damn slow? Oh, yeah. 70-ton piece of garbage. That's right. Um, not even going to heat us up that much. Let's just leave these MRMs off, but let's hammer them with the rest. Finish this. Actually, let's not waste it. Let's just go with standard ammo. Ooh. Did I just change it to hot load? How did I hot load it? How the heck did I hot load that? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Okay. That was a critical hit, lad. He's an armless that wonder now. I copy. Gonna fire a lot less this time because I want to drop our heat a bit. Leave the tags on. We can turn the MRM off. And the two. Uh, yeah, we'll turn those off. Just fire the snub and the tags and stuff. Ah, at least we hit him with a tag. Impacting one round. I don't know why we, I, I guess they have signal jamming or something, but you'd think they'd be able to spot this place from space. I don't know how they're supposed to jam a friggin' telescope. Yeah, don't worry, we're clear. Moving out. 
All right, let's start applying some damage to these other guys over here. Uh, which one is this? I have no idea. Owens. What do we got a chance on the Owen? Really low, eh? Uh, let's just cycle through them. What do we got here? Terrible. Worse. Worse. That's probably the best so far. Wasp, probably? As SRM Inferno's gone. Sure. We need a direct line of sight to these guys back here really to do anything. Where's that urban mech? Well, at least the Owens is moving forward. I think he's got a plasma cannon, if I'm not mistaken. Commander. I could be mistaken. How do I... I can't target him, I guess, with this guy. Yeah, we're going to need to get out of here, so let's just sprint it this way. I don't know how many turns we're going to have till we have to be out of here, but... I think it's two, two turns after the target, or something like that. Once it hits this round, then we've got a couple of turns to be out of here. How can I help? Ooh. Roger. We got a loss on this guy. Um not much difference. Let's go with standard. Alright. And yeah. Yep, yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Your base is getting smushed now, so you think B you can finish this guy up? You can always jump out of here, so I'm not worried. This guy's got no weapons either. Alright, hammer him. Out of SRM. Alright. Headbutt. Nope, kick. Nope, headbutt. Thanks for showing up. I want to see this blast. Did we get anything on that one? Looks like we missed them all. Oh, we got one. Get visual confirmation of artillery effect. Here comes the PPC. Here it comes. Nope. Here comes the urban mech. Where the fuck is he? I like them apples. Extract before enemies arrive. Three rounds. Look at that. I'm pointing at the screen. Look at that. There's a piece of the base or a piece of the vehicle flying off. Alright. Decide what you guys are doing. Oh, come on. Don't jam. Okay, that was probably the urban mech. <laughs> it was just taking a really long time to calculate the exponential damage he took. <laughs> See ya. Okay, come on. Don't be locked, please. We succeeded. Come on.
Uh, I can't even move around with the mouse. I'm going to give it a second, see what happens, and then if it doesn't come back, well, I don't know. Oh, it was just waiting for the building to collapse. The screams of the dying. Cratered. We can reach you from space. I don't know, I'm I'm finding they they were updated to what is it, one seven five hotfix three now or something like that. And I'm finding since the last couple of little patches they've done, things have been a little sluggish. More so than normal. Like this is really bad. Now I'm sure we'll come out of this in a second. Wow, that took forever. I literally sat there, watched from watched the smoke go from that white, big, billowy stuff. It faded away, and then it went to nothing. And then it, I was staring at the crater for a good two minutes <laughs> before we got this. So, <laughs> target on. I guess everyone was in shock for two minutes. Uh, and we're almost out. Beautiful. We got, what, three rounds? Okay, we're going to try and get as much salvage as we can in three rounds. So let's get on this, Owens. Copy that. No matter what our chance is, this guy's got good salvage, so we want to get on him as best we can here. Um, and we've got to kill him fast, so let's go to dead fire. Okay. We're getting good salvage out of this, so... I mean, there's already some good mech parks on the ground. Okay, the Owens is continually moving in. That's even better for us. Ooh, nice shooting. Light damage, Commander. That could be an EMP too, right? Did like 21 damage or something like that, or 20-something damage? Or it could be a light PPC, because those things have damage fall off too, right? Thanks for trying that. We decided to check to make sure our AMSs were working. Apparently they're working. Ah, uh, Hotshot, what do you want to kill? Oh, you got to sprint, man. You're not going to get out of here. Roger that. I'll leave you behind. Let's make sure the mech's in the out point. Um... That's terrible. That's actually pretty good in the Locust. Yeah, Locust it is, it looks like. You know, I kind of feel sorry for this guy, but... What do you do, right? <laughs> Hostile oh, that snub goss. <laughs> Never ceases to, to make me laugh. I wonder who the sick bastard was that thought of that. Yes, Commander. All right, Queenie. Um, you want to finish that guy up? Confirmed. Thanks. And then you can jump out of there and get into the uh, out point here. You got two turns, so you're good to go. Let's leave him with a barrage. Copy that. Yeah, you didn't get him, but. <laughs> You don't have to stay there. He's got... He's panicked. Yeah, you think? He's overheated, can't move. He's got no weapons. And he's left there with a barrage. No, he, knowing full well that Lamb is just going to jump away and leave him there to die. You're better off bailing now, buddy. I'm trying to make it a run for it on foot. Get out of that barrage. Okay, Hopper. Talk to me. Get up here. Ready to run. You better be running towards battle and not away, thanks. There's the Owens chances. Chandra. Chandra. 
Yeah, no, no, and nope, nope, nope. Might as well throw the Artemis on, see if we can get some hits on this guy. Oh, one of the lasers hit. It's kind of nice. He's actually hitting pretty good with those ER mediums. Kind of shocked. Oh, you're screwed, buddy. <laughs> He's dead. Never mind. <laughs> nice. So we got one more round of fighting, and then we got to be in the the, the uh, hex to get out of here. So I wanted to make sure we take that Owens down at least. I'll break him in two. Hopefully Queen Bee goes first. Yep, beautiful. Awaiting orders. Hardcore kid. Hardcore, you know the score. Engaging jump jet. What's up, buddy? Taking the shot. Ooh, three hits. That's pretty good. We get back and get a line of we can't shoot. So when you get back for oh we can get a line of sight from back here though. On my way, double time. Cause I don't want to use the um <sighs> Do we use the dead fire? I think we go incendiary on him. See, now he won't be able to get away from us. I've got your back. Okay, you're close to the out as well. It's too bad we're lower than these guys, but what do you do, right? Come on. Oh, just target him for crying out loud. Owens, okay. Let's sprinkle a little, more, a little bit more damage on this guy. Take that as a lesson. Oh, no, you don't. Now, the question is... Got something you want done? Locking in is, do we use the, uh... snub -nosed Goss on this guy or not? Beautiful chance to hit, though. That'll kill him. That'll blow straight through him. Ah. Let's just leave that off, but we'll shoot everything else at him. Just go regular. Hopefully we get a leg shot, but... Switch this to incendiary. Here it comes. Oh, we got a head hit on him. Nice. So he's super heated. He's not going anywhere any, anytime soon since he fired first this turn. So if we can get initiative on him before the end of, or before this next turn, if we can heat him up enough, we might be able to take him down. Maybe I should just go for the kill. Yeah, I don't know what to do now. I mean, we could just shred him. Maybe get some parts out of it, just so we ensure the kill. I don't know. Taking minimal damage. Let's hope Queen. We can get Queen Bee off first. That's good. Oh, that was this turn. 
So next turn, hopefully, ah, I don't know. We'll see how fast that Owens is. It's not going to be able to run very far. Like he's like he's pretty heated up. Fingers crossed that we can get uh, Queen B first. Then she can just bake him again with the with the flamers and then jump into the extraction point. Yeah. Nope. Okay, well. We take what we get. Order. Um Let's just try for the kill. Critical hit, Commander. He's not jumping anywhere. Moving to position. Okay, we got a line of sight on him. Let's just shoot him. Incendiaries. Okay, that guy's gone. Tango down. So that should be all their mechs. Right? Yeah, that was all their mechs. The Owens, the Hunchback, the Locust, and the Urban Mech. And then the Urban Mech, Wasp, Chameleon, and Blackjack. Yeah, so that's all eight of them. Nice. Worst case scenario, we get eight mech parts. Roger that. See if we can get any components from this guy. Probably not. Uh, incendiary ammo or Artemis. Better chance to hit with the Artemis. Let's just use that. Wow. It's getting good. Getting pretty good with medium laser hits. Kind of shocked. Ah, yeah, well. Alright, Queen Bee just has to jump out and we're out of here. Beautiful. Standing by. Can't shoot anybody right now, can you? Oh, you can. Might as well. Give him a parting shot. Ah, well. Missed. That's fine. We're out of here. It's just a smoke screen. Roger that. There it is, folks. Look at that. They caught her midair. Let's go home. She just jumped straight into the leopard. Mission successful. Alright. Contract payment increased by 20%, which is nice. We took a little bit of damage, but not much. Yeah, the Dervish got four kills. Beautiful. That, uh, I think the upgrades on that mech have, have made a huge difference. We're starting to see a huge difference anyway on it. So let's grab the Chameleon part. Let's grab the Hunchback part. Grab two parts of the Owens. Um, small blaze fires. What's their range on these things? 20% jam chance, though. Three, 300 meters. That's actually not bad. Mitigated by gunnery. So even with a maxed out pilot, you still have a 10% chance for jam. LBX-10, that's a possibility. Although we haven't been doing very well with LBXs, so maybe I'll shy away from it. Mag shot's a nice one-ton uh, secondary weapon. I'm going to drop that in for now, but we're going to see what else is down here. We're looking for C-bills too. You know what I think we might do? Rather than jumping and going to take that, using our C-bills, because uh, several people have been saying I should be upgrading the Argo even more, so maybe we should go ahead and just start spending more money on the Argo. We've got some things we really need to spend, but they're all uh, really, really big items that we need to go after. Uh, plus six increased land sensor range within 240 meters, land sight range within 240 meters, C3 network unit. It's not bad. Three tons though. Bonus of four to sensor detection provides additional target information. Counters ECM stealth by two. Hmm. 
LBX 10 ammo. We've got one. It's a cluster. Do we just go ahead and take the LBX 10? I mean, it's nice to have it as a backup weapon. Uh, the multi track, we've already got one of these. But so far in this mod pack, you know, there's maybe only been a handful of times that I'd wanted to do like multi targeting. Um, I'm fine with just shooting on one target per mech, although there's a couple times in there just be like, ah, you know, all we need to do is spit on that guy and he's dead, but. Alright, let's go this route. I think this is probably fine. Alright, we got the blackjack part as well. Gotta hate blackjacks. Locust part, two urban mech. We got all the mech parts. That's nice. To two blaze fires. Okay, we may try those out. I don't know. Small laser can go. Tag, we're gonna hang on to because those are always useful. That can go. That can go. Endo steel. How much do we how many of these we have? Four. We can get rid of that too. 64,000. That's nice. Advanced. Okay, we're gonna hang on to that. Multi-track will hang on to. That can go. That can go. That can go. Yep. 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 And the LRM ammo can probably go too. Yeah. So we made a few a few uh, chunks of C-bill off this. Plus some mech parts. I mean, we might be able to assemble. I don't know if we got other Owens parts and stuff. We might be able to assemble a mech. So let's find out. Ooh, 8,000. That's it. Beautiful. All right. So I don't think there's anything else I want to take on this planet right now. Um I'll probably like like I said the repost interesting contract but it is for the it is for the Canopians we're jumping out of here to go fight somewhere else it kind of goes against the theme of this soul show although this has popped up now aggressive nego negotiations assassinate in the lowlands against confederation capella three skulls I don't know we don't have anybody ready, and this will probably probably refresh itself before the end of the month. We've only got two more days, so um, yeah. So I think we'll wait here a couple of days for the contracts to refresh. If there's anything good, oh, I didn't even take a hit last last time. If there's anything good, we'll stay. If not, we'll jump. Okay, so we got we we need we got a bushwhacker we can assemble. Well, we're waiting to do that because we don't have sea bills right now. We'll be using up all of our money to do that. Got a fire starter we can assemble. We do have an Owens we can assemble. What else? That's it. So let's go ahead, assemble this. Um, how much is it going to cost us? 36? That's really nothing. Because we'll sell it for more than that anyway, right? Yeah, so let's confirm that. Two medium lasers, any missile system. Alright, we might get some stuff out of that. I'm interested to see what our techs, our tech level will give us on this. So the Owens E, which one is better, the E or the F here? So base tech 13. So our tech level is what? Nine, mech tech is 19. That's 13. Base tech is 13. Then repair is 66. Items recovered 83. Items repaired 58. It's the same. Okay. Um, laser designator, beagle probe, C3 slave unit. Um, designate targets for our, our, our artillery. What's the difference between the two here? This one doesn't say restricted left and upper right act actuators. That's bizarre. Let's go with this one because it'll be cheaper to put together. Uh, wow, it costs us nothing for that. Beautiful. That mech you wanted is back online. Okay, so let's check out what we get off these guys. I'm interested to see with our techs now. Alright, check this guy. Oh yeah, I dropped the other two mechs, the two uh, light mechs that we had here into storage because we don't really need them out. It was costing us C-bills, so... Um, let's see here. Yeah, still not a whole lot, eh? So not much on this guy. AMS ammo, which is good because we always need that. And looks like a lot survived on this guy. Sentinels, Sentinel sensors survived on this guy. We got another MRM-10. Beautiful. Uh, medium pulse laser exostar. Medium laser exostar. Plus one accuracy. Oh, the Pulse Magnus, sorry. 
Okay, tag. Um, 280 core. This is fixed though. So this is like technically an Omni, I guess. Double heatsink kit. Um, yeah, not bad. That's actually pretty good. If we were still using 35 ton, ton max, I would might might consider keeping it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. 80,000. It's nice. And this guy. 331,000. Beautiful. So we got a whole bunch of new stuff in inventory too. So like I said, I'll wait the two days, get our guys back, uh, see what's going on at this planet. If there's nothing, I'll jump. And then we'll take some missions on a new planet. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to pass on that repost uh, after thinking about it. I think it's just not in kind of... I want to do it for the challenge, but it's not really in in uh, um, in line with the idea behind Backyard Bandits. So we'll just leave it for now. Hopefully we can find something else around here, maybe in the Oregon Confederation. That would be kind of nice. But we'll see how it goes. All right. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.